Then here let us learn questions like so that the product of three consecutive integers is divisible by four or in exercise 1.1 question number two and question number five so that the product of two consecutive integer is divisible by two or so that in question number five so that the product of three consecutive integer is divisible by six so type of questions are very important for the math exam and as well as uh, these questions when we do, uh, most of these solutions are very hard to understand so it's very difficult uh, so why not we learn in a very easy way today so after you learn this one you will not you will find that these questions are uh, easy to calculate <coughs> okay so then le let me solve this question then this exercise 1.1 question number two and question number five you will do it yourself and you'll be able to do it okay so forget about all those rules whenever you find such type of question okay uh, let us read the question again so that the product of three consecutive integer is divisible by four so look here divisible by four okay so it should be divisible by four now look the number the number is four okay then so let us solve now let since the number is 4 you write like this 4 q if the number is 2 2 q if the number is 6 then it should be 6 q all right okay so in our in, in our case the number is 4 and it should be 3 consecutive so that means we need to write 3 times 4q next is 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 2 so why we write only 3 times 1 2 3 the question says only 3 all right okay if the question says only 2 then 2q 2q plus 1 you write only 2 times so in our case if they say 3 so we write 3 times 4q 4q plus 1 4q plus 2 the next number will be 4q plus 3 but we don't need to write that one because we, we are going to write only 3 times 1 2 3 so these three numbers are consecutive integer right so let 4q 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 2 b the 3 consecutive integer we are just copying from the question b the 3 consecutive integer so they they ask us to uh, ask us to write only 3 that is why we write only 3 4q 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 2 1 2 3 be the three consecutive integer then next what did the question say product product means multiply okay then let's do <coughs> okay let us multiply all since the question say multiply we are going to multiply so for q we multiply with this for q plus one next is this one for q plus two since the question say product we are going to find the product product means multiply we are going to do multiply now okay let us multiply multiply it's uh, very easy uh, look here four in c we are going to multiply since the number is three we are going to multiply three times so four four are 16 16 four are you calculate yourself 16 for r it should be 64 right okay next is we will also calculate these letters and multiply this letter here we have one q here we have one q here we have another q so how many q one two three so we have three q okay then next symbol is plus so we will multiply again four q into one is four q then four two r eight 
here how many q we have here we have one q here we don't have any q here we don't have any q that is why q is only one so this multiply is very easy uh, let me let me show again first all the first number we multiply next is all the second number we multiply so all the first number 4 4 are 16 16 4 are 64 how many q 1 2 3 so we have 3 q next is we are going to multiply with all the second number here the second number is 1 here the second number is 2 okay then let us now multiply with the second number 4 1 is 4 4 2 are 8 okay in the second number we don't have q we don't have q here also but we have only one here so we write only one all right so this number let us say whether it is divisible by four or not okay now see so we we are we are going to divide by four so we write four here okay can you divide this 64 by four yes we will be able to divide okay now look four one is four then two is remaining 4, 6 are 24 so that means when 64 is divided by 4 we get 16 so we get 16 q is still there okay this eight also we are going to divide by 4 so it is very easy 4 2 r 8 so q okay then we are about to finish this question okay so these are the questions right uh, when we multiply 64 by 4 uh, we get 16 and when when we divide 8 by 4 we get 2 when we divide 64 by 4 we get 16 and when we divide 8 by 4 we get 2 so these are the cosines which we get so this cosine will be replaced by k simply write in short form all this long one inside the bracket the number which are inside the bracket just replace with k all right so we we can show here where k equal to instead of this line we write k right so we need to write here k equal to this one 16 q 2 q all right so this is the number we are about to finish is an integer which is divisible by 4 so the solution is finished okay so this long numbers you can replace with k and you you, you tell here why when we write k here because k is equal to with 16 q uh, q plus 2 q all right so it's an integer which is divisible by 4 all right and here if the number is 6 then you are going to write is an integer which is divisible by 6 here if the number is 3 then by 3 all right so remember uh, remember how we start look here when you read the question you check the number properly so here in our case uh, the number is four so how many times we are going to write we are going to write three times all right so this is four so four q four q plus one four q plus two you increase by one zero one two but we are going to write only three times so we write one two three so we write only three times since they say further multiply then you will get this answer right so we are going to divide by 4 so you divide by 4 64 if you divide by 4 you get 60 8 if you divide by 4 you get 2 all right and this quotient which is inside the bracket replaced by k and you say here k is equal to with this number 16 q cube plus 2 q is an integer which is divisible by 4 okay now let me give you some hint how to how to calculate this one okay now when we read the question okay you can you can know that the number is two all right this two how many times we are going to write we are going to write two times right since the number is two 
don't do this thinking if if the number is 2 then 2q 2q plus 1 right and we will not write three times because the question say only two so one two all right and what about this one here the question says six so take the number six q look here we are going to write three times here six q next is six q plus one and next is six q plus two we will not write anymore because the question say only three so one two three all right okay then when uh, then you do multiply then you all do multiply and in that answer here you divide by two here you divide by six then you will get the answer okay i hope you can understand this question don't forget to look the last number if it is four four q then if it is two take two q and if it is six take six q all right okay thank you for watching this video and submit don't forget to submit the assignments which i give in this uh, video okay thank you all.